Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to the MF kit build, taking a great kit guitar and making it awesome, or failing utterly in the process, with style. Ha! Uh, don't forget that you can win this very guitar if you are currently watching this as we are um, putting it out live onto the interwebs. Uh, Check out the uh, description below uh, and click the links and things. Go to Crimson Guitars and win yourself this instrument. Um, if this is not currently being set live and this is in the future, and uh, well, you're going to have to track down whoever did win it and uh, uh, do uh, whatever it takes. Uh, I fear that uh, I need to say that uh, we do not condone violence uh, or bribery or corruption in any way, shape or form. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the build! I just tripped over my microphone. Why did, why, why did I trip over my microphone? Okay, so this has... Yeah, pixelated. Okay, we're, we're, we're good. Basically, I've marked out the design that I like. <clears throat> I am uncertain as to whether this is gonna be strong enough, i.e. I've got, only got three millimeter gaps between each of these holes. Um, it all depends on how the, the hollowing out goes, and that is problematic. I, I still don't really know how I'm going to do it. It's going to involve Forstner bits, for sure. And chisels. Let's see. Okay. Of course, this shape is uh, is not conducive <laughs> to uh, a router because that would just be too easy, wouldn't it? Really. So, remove L material. Vice. Hand drill. I have one of these things somewhere. Aha! All right, I, I'm, I'm just gonna do this by hand, really. Leave a little bit of waste, and uh, I'll take as much out as I can by a force in a bit, and then, uh, and then we'll see what happens. Yeah, as long as I drill straight, as long as I drill straight, this should work.
end grain. This doesn't like end grain. I'm going to go from this side then. Come on. That was scary. I obviously don't want to go all the way through. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take depth and cuts square to the edge, leave enough room, I hope, and I'm not going to do, do any damage. And then go in and, uh, depending on the shape of the guitar, uh, and depending on how long I've actually got with this bit, I might need to find an extension for it. Uh, I will then change the angle. And uh, remove as much material via force now as possible. But uh, this is fairly dusty, so, uh, so Dust mask full of dust. Yay. It was a shaving, really, but stop. Okay, this is hardly the most efficient way of uh, hollowing out part of a guitar. Um, but it's quite fun, actually. So I'm fairly happy with what I've achieved, yeah? That's uh, actually pretty good. A little bit scary at times. But 
success. And now, well, I'm not entirely sure actually. Uh, it's a case of uh, getting rid of getting rid of excess wood and tidying it up. The problem is I can't really hold it too securely in a vise. Uh, I'm cramping it at the edges where it's stronger, but uh, yeah, it's still. It's suddenly, suddenly a little bit more delicate. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, maybe I've taken out most of its mass. So a little bit of cleaning up, a lot more to do. The issue is inside here, I've got a rather big dip. You can't really see what's happening. Oh my gosh, that's gonna make you ill. Uh, there's quite a large dip in there. So I'm gonna be doing some carving. I am so lucky that I have, <laughs> I'm so lucky that I own a vintage tool shop and have a weakness for carving gouges because this would be impossible. I'm using, um, check out vintagetoolshop.com because, because you should. Um, without curved gouges, spoon gouges, I got dust in my eye then. Uh, this would be impossible. I'm essentially going in at angles. That's just in the way. So I'm having to go in with a curved gouge to, to carve away and match the shape of the outline. Now, my problem is, my problem is, my problem is I'm having far too much fun. Uh, I have sound holes in the front and then going down the sides and the edges here. So really, in order for it to not look weird, I want the thickness of the front and the sides at those points at least to be relatively uniform. Uh, I'm going to take away as much material as I can blind and then somehow, I still haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to make these holes. Um, I assume just drills and knives and chisels. Um, once those are carved and I can actually see how exactly how thick it is, I'm going to go with an incredibly sharp gouge and then re-thickness from the inside and see what happens. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying myself. I really am having far too much fun. Okay. Um, okay, uh, this is pretty much Pretty much there, I think. 
the, uh, as, as near as I can tell, I've got a fairly even thickness uh, in the edge. The top is nice. The back is fairly, fairly even. It's got a relatively rough feel because it's just been hand carved. Um, I'm uncertain whether I want to... Okay, at this point, I'm not going to fine sand it. Um, I probably... I probably will sand it down at some point, even though it's going to be invisible, just for, for pride, really, I suppose. Um, I'm gonna start cutting some hexagonal sand holes. <sighs> now, what I'm gonna do, a couple of these are actually fairly close to the edge of the cavity. So I'm going to go straight down, and then as I move down, I'm going to angle them till they're going straight through that way. So it's going to look like we've basically taken the piece of wood and then bent it around. Um, you know, who needs a 3D printer to make something cool? Uh, me. <laughs> I need a 3D printer. But uh, in this case, no. All right. There are some holes to drill. I have some sharpening to do. <sighs> yeah, I have some sharpening to do. Essentially, to cut these properly, one, I need the tools to be as sharp as humanly possible. Two, I'm gonna have to wedge something in between the, the, the front and the back. Um, I have no choice. That didn't work. No. <sighs> yeah. Knives are I think actually best. Thank you for watching this episode of the MF Kit Build, taking an awesome kit guitar and making it great. No wait, that's the wrong way around. Taking a great kit guitar and making it awesome. Uh, click like and subscribe. Please consider supporting our Patreon where you can see many, many more videos of this sort. And I've got somebody random standing in the door looking at me and this is like the third time he's tried to stop in the middle of the thing. So I'm gonna stop talking now. Hi, how's it going? James.